I am making a handle for a can. I'm loosely basing it off of what you see here, but I'm doing it uh, quite differently. I'm gonna use a vertical cylinder for the actual handle. And what I did is I took my can, I reproduced, well, I actually took copied the can, deleted a lot of vertices, thickened it up with a solidify modifier, and then I did some extrusion to get this up here and this down here. Then, there's the original can. Uh, then I added a handle, or I added a vertical cylinder, that'll be the actual handle, but I need to properly attach it here. Now I could have made this handle a little bit taller, a little bit longer, so it goes into this handle I've built and I could use union, but the drawback of that is I'm gonna have a lot of weird vertices that I'm gonna have to clean up later. So what I decided to do is weld these two pieces manually. So what I did is I took a lot of these uh, vertexes, I turned vertex snapping on, so I actually snapped these vert vertexes were not touching. So I turned vertex snapping on and I'm actually snapping to the other object that's visible. And I made the can invisible so I don't get distracted. But I'm working on the handle and I attached the handle. Well, I didn't attach it yet, but I moved the vertex over here with vertex snapping. So again, I have my vertex cylinder and I wanted these two vertices right here to be touching, these to be touching. So I've done that already on the front. Now I have this one snapped in and I did the same thing over here. And now I'm gonna turn the vertical cylinder to be invisible. And oops, let me get, wow, this is fun. All right, let me get a better angle here. I guess I could just go x-ray. Oh, God. All right, no. All right, you can see the outline of the circle right here. And actually, it includes these two vertices also. So there's one vertex missing, and it's basically right around here. All right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take these three vertices and merge them into one. I don't really care where if they're at center. Uh, I don't want to go cursor because that's at the origin far away. I'll just go to center. And then I'm going to grab this and just visually move it close to where it actually is. I'm intentionally moving it further outside of where I know that circle is going to be. So when I make this visible again, I can grab this. And again, I have vertex snapping on. And now I have it perfectly snapped around here. Now what I'm going to need to do is actually attach these pieces together and then delete some faces. And that's a little bit tricky because they're different objects, but I'll cover that later. But at least this way everything's aligned. And now I'm going to go and align the top. This is how it started out before I did any alignment. And you can already tell we got an issue right here because I don't think I guess I can grab that vertex. All right, never mind. But this is a little bit too high up. So I'm going to need to bring this down a little bit. And then I'm going to attach the top, or at least make the vertices match up. And then we'll go ahead and see how to merge two separate objects.